All right, it's time now for our top talk talker. We know everybody's been stocking up on some extra food. Maybe you grab some herbs yeah. and spices, dried stuff that you may not have used before or you're new to. Well, now when you sit down to cook, things could be a little bit different. Dietitian Stephanie Hopkins from University Hospitals told us how to get the best flavor from dried herbs. Dried herbs and spices often are more concentrated in flavor than any fresh options. So add dried herbs and spices to the beginning of the cooking process. All right, you you the do beginning. that. I, I do. I saw you do that when yes. you made your little corned beef thing. Exactly. I was paying attention. You were. Oh, I had someone ask me, where do you get that? That what? little packet? It that comes, you... it, so if you buy a flat cut brisket. Okay, it comes it with com it. It says it's corned beef, which oh, it's all okay. on sale right now. If you want to stock your freezer <laughs> with something, That's get it. one of those corned beef things and that little magical packet is I, in there. I, seriously, I had a couple people mm -hmm. ask me, what was that packet of spices she put in there? That's the magic. Now you know. Okay, um, it, she also shared with us favorite spices to pair up with certain foods. Watch. Some of my favorite spices are cinnamon, cumin, and ginger. Cinnamon can be used in both sweet and savory dishes. Try mixing it on top of roasted root vegetables like roasted carrots or roasted sweet potatoes. Cumin is used in a variety of different cuisines and has a nice earthy flavor. Try mixing it into a three bean chili or a lentil stew. Ginger has a nice little zest to it. It also can be used as a meat tenderizer, so try using this as a powder rub on chicken breast before you roast it. Now keep in wow. mind, this is one thing that is not in our script, but there can be interactions with certain medications if you're trying new herbs and spices. Really? So check things out. Well, cumin is a part of coumadin, which is a blood thinner for Whoa. a lot of folks. So you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to yeah. mess that up a little bit. Ginger and all that stuff. I you love know. ginger. I love cinnamon. Yeah, just make sure if you are on medication, sometimes you want to research that a little bit. Anyway, she added that herbs and spices are a digestive aid for many and can increase your antioxidant intake.